voice is better than a thousand. I'd rather be the fourteen of the house of my God than as well as the tents of wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Those who are in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of thy God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, Lord. I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelt. The Lord is his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I will sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, and all the earth sing his praise. Our opening in this morning can be found on page 525 for the fellowship. Following the hymn, we will have a prayer by Sister Elise Parsi, for a response by the choir, and then the choir will bring us a selection.
Father God. Hallelujah. Cause you're worthy to be praised, Father God. Hallelujah. This is the day that they set aside as a woman day, God. Hallelujah. These women that's in this church, Father, I'm asking you that each and every one you touch them this morning. Yes. Touch them from the top of their head to the very soles of their feet, Father God. Whatever they stand in need of, Father. If it's a healing, give it to them.
On behalf of our pastor, Reverend Dimshawn Bradley, our First Lady, Reverend Deborah L. Jordan Bradley, our pulpit staff, the members of Bethlehem AME Church, and our family and friends, we would like to thank you for coming to help us celebrate our annual Women's Day. Amen. At this time, if we have any visitors, please stand and introduce yourself. Amen. 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 We thank you and we pray that you will be blessed by today's service. Yes. And again, thank you for coming. Yes. Amen. 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 Good morning again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And our ministry highlights again uh, for this weekend. It's good to see everybody out celebrating our Women's Day and we're just so happy to have you here and it's so good to see so many of our friends yeah, uh, and, uh, throughout the community here with us mm -hmm. and to welcome home Kara Ramsey with us. Amen. Our ministry highlights, um, we always remind you again on Wednesday evening about our, comp I'm sorry, our dialogue on Christian theology or Bible study, and it's held each Wednesday evening again uh, through our conference call number, so everyone is welcome, and we're beginning to read uh, Romans, so they will start Romans, the first chapter, verses 1 through 17, this week will be the study. Our trustee that is on call for this dude, uh, for this week would be Brother Donald Dingle, and we're so happy to see him today. <laughs> yes. And we just want to remind you about our meeting schedule. Our fourth quarterly conference will be held on March the 7th at uh, 6.30 p.m., and the Zoom information will be given to us uh, right before the meeting, so we will send that out. Trustees, uh, March Thursday, March the 2nd is your monthly meeting at 6 o'clock p.m. and will be held by the uh, uh, conference call. And as we say, today is the day that we're celebrating our Women's Day 2023. And we just want to take this time out to thank Sisters Carol Ramsey, Elise Halsey, and our First Lady, Reverend Deborah L. Jordan Bradley, and all our family and friends and everyone who came to bless us again uh, for blessing us today. Your presence today has lifted us to higher heights, and we are truly, truly, truly yes. so sisters soaring in the spirit of the yes. Lord. Yes. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. And also, we just want to put a note out on um, March the 10th at 7 o'clock p.m. at the Grand Chapel AME Church. The Camden Trenton District Ministerium will hold their annual victory service which end the conference year and more information will be forthcoming on that and for that. We just say God bless you and we're just looking for a good time to continue in the Lord. Thank you. Amen. 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 To God be the glory to to all of you. We want to thank you for what you're doing. I want to take a few minutes to recognize the the, the women who have um, labored this year uh, in helping us uh, to come to this uh, this annual day. Amen. And I want to say to God, be the glory. Uh, some of you are not here, and what we're going to make sure that we recognize all of the, uh, the those who have helped us uh, on this journey. Mm -hmm. All of the certificates read about the same. I'm also going to take this time to have remarks. So after the preaching is done, uh, we won't have to linger behind, uh, you know, linger behind. We can continue on with the service. Let me say again, thank you to uh, Sister Ramsey, Sister Carol Ramsey, uh, all the certificate reads the same. The Bethlehem African Methodist uh, Episcopal Church Certificate of Appreciation presented to Sister Carol Ramsey. A Women's Day 2023 participation, Sister Sewing in the Spirit, but those that wait, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. 
They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Given this 26th day of February 2023, M. Sean Bradley, pastor, and Sister Elise uh, Cosley. Thank you, Sister Ramsey, for a beautiful job. Yeah. Thank you for your yeah. Sister Elise Cosley. She must have left. All right. All right. Um, I will, we will send, we will mail out to Mother Betty Brennan. Um, Sister Latanya Best. All right. God bless you. Thank you. Beautiful prayer. Thank you. Thank you. Sister. Sister Moon. Amen. God, every woman in here is going to get a certificate. <laughs> Sister Alice Wilson, amen. Sister McNeil. All right. Uh, Reverend Deborah Bradley. Sister Ashley Bradley. Bradley. Bianca Bradley. Sister Tammy Jordan Tricochi. Sister Alexis Tricochi. Uh, Sister Michaela Bradley. Sister Mariah Knight. Sister Courtney Knight. And Sister Nora Jordan Courtney. And let me thank you all for the work. Now, this was the first time, probably a historical time, that the pastor ever chaired the Women's Day Committee. <laughs> Sergeant is here. Yes. And you know, you put my name 
on the program, this chair. But to God be the glory, thank you for the work that we've done. Brother Hathaway, Brother Dingle, and Brother uh, Boone, and, and brother, um, brother Linda, and Brother Dingle, we have work to do. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity to serve.
People wonder why I keep smiling when things are falling apart. They wonder how I can forgive when someone has broken my heart. People wonder how can you give when you're down to your last dime. They wonder how you manage when you give so much of your time. Mm -hmm. People wonder how you resist when temptations are all around. They wonder how you keep standing when that problem, when the problems weigh you down. Mm -hmm. People wonder how you survive mm -hmm. when you're fighting against the odds. Mm -hmm. They wonder what's the secret ingredients. It's when. It's because you're a woman of God.
allow it off the call, we'll have induct the introduction of the guest speaker by Reverend Bradley. And our sermon will be brought by our own Reverend Dr. Lynn and Joy Bradley. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning, women of Bethlehem. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to apologize for being a little late this morning. Uh, my son was here, was here from uh, North Carolina, and I had to pause with him a little bit. And, but here I am. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. See, God is good. Yes, he is. Those that are on our 
brothers that we had mentioned and those we did not mention. Yes. Oh God, you know them all, God. Yes. Hallelujah. We know, oh God, that earth has no sorrow, that earth, that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. Yes. So God, we thank you for healing those that are bereaved today. Yes. Whatever the problem, whatever the source of their going home was, God, bless them, Father, strengthen them and build them up. Yes. Jehovah Rapha, I heal them. Yeah. We pray, God, for your healing hand, God, yes. to meet, oh God, their need. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, look upon those that are ministering to them as doctors and nurses. Yes. Oh God, the health care workers. Oh God, give them the strength and the strategy. Yes. Oh God, to do the work yes. that's set yes. before them to do, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh God, we lift up our leaders today. Yes. yes. Oh God, yes. White House, Senate, the House, yes. the courts of our land, God. Yes. Break yokes, loose the bonds of wickedness, let yes. the oppressed go free. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh God, we are thank you, God, that you can do all things but fail. Yes. We thank you for looking down upon those that are in this church this morning. Oh God, whatever the need, God, we thank you. Yes. We thank you, God, hallelujah, for opening doors that no man can close, yes. for making ways out of no way. Yes. We thank you for healing our bodies, oh God, from time to time, God. Yes. Thank you, God, hallelujah, yes. for your love and your mercy this morning. Yes. Now, Father God, we thank you, God, for our leader of our church, yes. for our pastor, God, that you continue to strengthen him. Yes. And to build him up, oh God, on every leading side and to guide him. Yes. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, as he leads this congregation. Yes. Now, Father, my God, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank oh you. God, for those that have no hope this morning. Yes. And those that have no joy this morning. Oh God, you are our joy. You are our hope. Yes. Our hope depends upon yes. God this yes. morning. Yes. Your heart picture of a mind regulator, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name. Now, Father, my God, hallelujah. For those that have no might, that are fearful, oh God, hallelujah. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and a sound mind. God, we cast out fear in the name of Jesus and we introduce, hallelujah, the power of the Holy Spirit, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, upon everyone in this church, upon our families, hallelujah, the, 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 we lose, hallelujah, the power, hallelujah, to run this race, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Now, my Father, my God, hallelujah. We thank you for what you're going to do. We thank you for what you've already done. We thank you for the women of this body of Christ. How they struggle for a year to do what to raise funds, oh God, for this body of Christ. We thank you, God, for how you blessed, how you met the need, oh God, even abundantly above what we even expected, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for that that's still coming in, oh God, in Jesus' name. And now, my Father, my God, we surrender this day to you. We give you the glory and the honor and the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, and our hearts say amen, amen, amen. 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 Let's give God glory today.
road, drive roads from Paul's wrath. So then to God and to his Son and to the very confident Holy Spirit, to our very capable worship leader, Sister Ramsey, to uh, Reverend Mother Geraldine Cawley, to the Reverend Angela Williams, to Elder Marvin Williams, to the Reverend Larry Williams in absentia, to all of the officers and members and certainly to our visitors, to the women of Bethlehem and to all the friends of Jesus. Amen. We greet you with Jesus joy. Yes. It is my task and my privilege to introduce to some and to present to others the preacher Amen. Uh, for mm -hmm. this morning. Yes. Yes. And I was asked to do it in a non-traditional way. <laughs> Let me tell you some things about this preacher. She was the first president, black president of the uh, LPN's association at Rand Coke is now uh, Lawrence Hospital, Berkshire. I'll tell you what the kids call it. <laughs> uh, 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 hospital there in, in Willingboro. She was the president of the Social Light, uh, uh, Social Light of Leavenworth, Kansas, where a group of women got together and did fundraisers and, and, and things of that nature there. And she's just uh, right good. So I ask that you not sit in your tent doors, Amen. but you pray for the preacher. Amen. Every now and then, shout. Amen. If you're able, you can get up and wave your hand. You can hold your head, throw your head back, and say, oh, glory. Amen. 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 Just, Amen. just let your preacher know that I see she has preaching material. <laughs> you can be here a while. <laughs> All right. Amen. God bless you. The next voice you hear will be that of our preacher for this morning, uh, the Reverend Deborah Lynn Jordan Bradley uh, from Calvary. Uh, she's doing her work at Calvary Missionary Baptist Church where the Reverend Dr. T.L. Um, Jordan is the, the pastor. We're grateful for him for allowing her to come this way. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Preach. Amen. Our sister, preach. Amen. Amen. Amen.
giving honor to God who is first in my life. Amen. It is good to be here another day. Amen. 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 I'm in the flow of the woman that prayed. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I'm just still feeling that. And I still think that we all got some praise. Amen. Amen. And to all the believers, 
I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. Sisters, soaring in the spirit. Amen. Lately in the news, we have been inundated and intrigued by unidentified flying objects. Yes. Yes. There have been balloons soaring across the upper stratosphere, yes. drifting as it were, yes. Yes. into the United States as if it was authorized uh -huh. and allowed to be present in our skies. Yes. You see, flying being an essential part of our daily lives to get from one point to another, right. yet our airports, just like life, at times become overcrowded. Yes. Like life, there are delays, yet your destination has not been denied. All right. Like life, there are checkpoints yeah. before you board your flight Amen. that make sure that you have nothing on you that will bring your flight down. Mm. Amen. All right. We all want to fly, but nobody wants to go through that TSA checkpoint. All right. But I'm here to tell you, church, even God has checkpoints. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that when you finally do soar, uh -huh. nothing can bring you down. Mm. Yeah. Yes, many of us want to fly, but how many of us want to soar? Right. Now, share with someone, I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. Now, today I will offer to you three concepts to get to your appointed destination. All right. Believe that you can. Conceive that you can. Achieve what you can. Amen. Another way of saying the same thing different in a, in a different tone, just tell yourself, conceive it with your mind, believe it in your heart, and then you can achieve it in your life. Yes, I believe I can fly. Just like Isaiah raises to the people of Israel, they were disheartened in the shape they were in as they were enduring that exile in waiting. They were waiting for their restoration. Mm -hmm. They were in wonder whether God was truly going to come and establish his kingship mm -hmm. and to get them to their destination. Right. How many of us feel like that today in the world that is tossed and driven? Yeah. Yeah. That we are like in need of moving. Yeah. We, we want to get to our destination. Yeah. I yeah. declares it better, but those that wait upon the Lord, what will he do? He will renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You see, Israel had a problem. They needed to believe. But before we indict them too harshly, they had been in captivity and disheartened. Yes. They were looking for restoration from the Lord, yes. as we can relate to today with these economical changes, the social changes. In a very real sense, we are in need of restoration. Yes. And we too need to believe. Yes. Yes. Most times, we literally need to conceive some things before we actually dare to believe. All right. And I say this as we look figuratively the way Isaiah uses mounting up with wings of eagles. Uh -huh. There are some things that we need to conceive in this journey with Christ in order to get to our destination, such as spiritual formation. You may have noticed or not that the eagle appears at least 30 times in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You see, that tells me that God has something to say in his word concerning eagles. Right. Because it's mentioned that many times. Mm -hmm. Especially this well-known scripture we're looking at today. Mm -hmm. But let me lift up a few. Psalms 91 and 4 says, it puts it like this. He will cover thee with his feathers Amen. and under his wings, yes. the wings of an eagle, mm -hmm. shall thou trust. Amen. 
Deuteronomy 32 and 11 says, As an eagle stirreth her net, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. We're going to closer talking about God. In Exodus 19 and 4, you saw how I carried you out of Egypt as um, eagle's wings. Mm -hmm. I brought you here with me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Psalms 103 and 5, where King David writes, Who satisfies you with good things that, so that your new youth is renewed, renewed as eagles. Amen. 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 So just to take a mere glance at those passages, with similar depiction, it will be, be a mistake not to take a closer look at the eagle. Mm -hmm. You see, the eagle's feathers and its wings and how the Bible metaphorically illustrates them. Some theologies have written and believed that the eagle conveys the powers and the messages of the spirit. Mm -hmm. It is the man's connection to the divine. Mm -hmm. Because for one, it soars Fly higher, it flies higher than any other bird. Yes. The eagle, therefore, can bring messages because it is associated with like the east wings and mm -hmm. the direction of spring, mm -hmm. the dawn and rebirth, and as Isaiah shares with us, renewal. Mm -hmm. So those are some interesting things that we should not miss. You see, eagles go through a stage of molting in their lifespan. Right. Amen. That is when their feathers fall out yeah. and are eventually replaced with new feathers. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this might not intrigue anyone who owns a caged bird like myself, but anxiously <laughs> enough, the eagle, the molting season for the eagle is painful. As they shed their feathers, they also lose flight feathers. Mm -hmm. Their vision becomes blurred. Yeah. And their beak and their talons fall off. Yeah. So, so at this time, the eagle is unable to soar. Mm -hmm. There is a delay for the eagle. It cannot soar. It just moves around. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's not getting to its destination. Mm -hmm. Now the older feathers are pushed out of the follicles and the newer feathers, get this, are genetically programmed mm -hmm. for an orderly replacement. Mm -hmm. right. You see, the eagle here is going through a natural formation. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it's only temporary. Yeah. It's not a denial that the eagle won't fly mm -hmm. because the eagle does overcome these difficult yeah. seasons. Yeah. All, right. All this to say that the grand eagle that we often see as known for having keen eyesight in uh, intellectual approach um, as she has a grand flight. Even the eagle goes through a difficult point in the de de development of its life. Let me slow down and just rest with the Holy Spirit. This is a process of one of God's many creations. As you see in the eagle in its lifespan as well, goes through some challenges, how many of us can attest to the fact of going through some painful and challenging times? Yes. 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 How many of yes. us here today can say that we too experience spiritual formation <laughs> that is urged by the Holy Spirit that abides inside of us? Yes. And sometimes we go through some seasons, figuratively speaking, where we may have felt as we were molting, mm -hmm. if, if we were shedding something, mm -hmm. yes. like things were out of our control, yes. but you knew it was necessary. Yes. Yes. And for perhaps yes. it wasn't so comfortable. Yes. Yes. And the shedding left us mm -hmm. in some temporary disabilities and having vulnerabilities as we were waiting for the transformation mm -hmm. that only God yes. can yes. provide. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 We have felt delayed and sometimes as people, we get attempted to navigate through this life, get to our destination, we get frustrated. Mm -hmm. But no, we, we, we may not possess feathers. However, we are the possessor of feelings. Mm -hmm. right. yes. How many of us can attest to maybe even painful or hurtful and crippling situations mm -hmm. and circumstances that cause you temporary blindness? Mm -hmm. yeah. Or perhaps actually you may
may have been blinded by the booby traps that have been set by your yeah, adversary. Come on, come, on, come, on. come on, somebody knows what I'm talking about. Come on, come on, come on. How many of us are brave enough to believe if God be for you, yeah. who can be against you? Come on. Who can stand against you? Yeah, when things begin breaking off for you, or you start falling away from some things, you can believe and you can conceive that the Lord has you and his spiritual shape. Yeah. Yeah. You may have been carrying some things that have been weighing you down. Come on. Yeah. Come on. The things that are not going through, get through God's mm -hmm. TSA. Mm -hmm. This is when spiritual formation is happening. He is taking us through a season that is needed and necessary. Yeah. Yeah. We sometimes have been overcrowded. We've had too much baggage and and, and we're like, no, I can't fly with that. You know, no, this this this, this thing is gonna be too heavy. No, no, I, I don't think this thing is gonna fit. It, it, it's not gonna be able to go with me where I got to go. There are some people and some things and some spaces in your life that are crippling you to soar, and we have to we have to let God get that stuff off. Somebody say, I can believe. I can believe. I can believe. Amen. I can fly. Tell somebody attitudes affect altitude. I'm going to say it again. Attitudes affect altitude. We need an attitude that is authentic and open so that the Lord recognizes you as his own. Amen. So just as the eagle's feathers are genetically programmed to fall off in an ordered replacement. Amen. We too as image bearers of Christ are genetically programmed to go higher in Christ. You see, the Holy Spirit sanctifies us daily. How many of you are a possessor of the DNA of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Because the gospel message is literally encoded into our genetic structure. I believe that I can. Amen. I'm going to wait on the Lord. I'm going to hope in the Lord. Amen. So we too, with the help of Jesus Christ, we can learn to wait just as the eagles wait. Wait in great hope. Yes. Believe that you can. Take yes. God in yes. his word so that we know that he is serving yes. us and he is formating us mm. into what he needs us to be. Mm -hmm. You see, because God finishes what he started. Yes. 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 Paul says in Philippians 1 and 6, he who has begun a good work in you yes. will perform it into completion. Yes. Yes. Right. You see, God does not mishandle his creation. And his eagle's feathers, just as they're genetically programmed for regrowth and renewal, God will never abandon his people. Amen. He will not leave us tore up. He will not leave us laying by the wayside. Amen. He will not leave us in confusion Amen. and wonder. Amen. Amen. This is God's world. Yes. He created everything. Yes. Everything in the world. The earth is his yes. and everything yes. therein. Yes. And he operates in order and with purpose. Yes. Conceive that you can. Yes. Be renewed. Yes. To be renewed and strengthened is one of the benefits and redemption of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. In Psalms 103, King David invites us to give thanks and praise to our great God, yes. for he is our redeemer. Yes. The fifth verse in 103 says, the eagle mentioned represents strength. Again, here, the ability to overcome. Yes. So we as believers have the ability to conceive through our relationship with Christ our Creator Amen. that we have the strength to overcome. Yes. Yes. Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed you, yes. I knew you. Yes. Yes. I set you apart before yes. you were born. Yes. God will not leave his people weary. Yes. That's right. How many of us believe that God knows, and you know that you know that he is a way maker. Yes. He is a promise yes. keeper. Yes. And then when you cannot see your way, God knows your way. Yes. Jeremiah also says, for I know the plans that I have for you. Yes. Plans to prosper you yes. and not to harm you. Yes. Plans to give you 
you hope of a future. So, beloved, do not be weary. Do not faint. God has plans and God has promises. And there is not one person in this world that can throw up the plan of the Lord. Second Corinthians says, the word of God is yea and amen. And do we do owe him all honor. We do owe him all glory. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to come into total submission. We do need to raise our hands like David and say, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not all of his benefits. Achieve what you can. Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things. Not some. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Therefore, you and I can achieve. We can get to our destination. I can believe. I can achieve. I can conceive. In order to reap the benefits of the promised God, we need to cultivate our spiritual formation by the dwelling of the Holy Spirit inside yeah. of us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And we do this by prayer and supplication. Yes. This is an ongoing work and it's inside of us that we would have this relationship with, with Jesus Christ. Mm. We need to cultivate our relationship by prayer. Yes. See, we are in a season of growth that is uncertain. Yes, Lord. It's painful and it's stretching. It's even weary as we have the wait and patience. Yes. And as well, our capacities for change and commitment. Mm -hmm. We are in a season of growth that requires us to check our spiritual infrastructure. Mm -hmm. How strong is the spiritual core in which you build? Mm -hmm. How long, how strong is that spiritual core in which you stretch? On, how we adapt, how we stand, how we Come walk on. Come on. and right. not faint. Right. Right. Yes, those waiting moments. Sometimes we don't want to wait on God. We want to run ahead of him and it wears us down because of the energy it requires to fulfill his purpose in our lives. They must be his will and not ours. Amen. You see, there are times when there are lessons taught that are never learned because of our pace. Right. We often move into places and spaces that were never intended to be, all because we did not want to wait on the Lord. Right. And you see, this leaves us frustrated, tired, and zapped. Mm -hmm. So in this season, sisters, in order to soar, we need to know how to mount up. In this season, we need to know and have the king's sense of when to mount up. We need to have the uniqueness in how to rise above our storms and circumstances. Amen. That we might avoid the threats that would inhibit us to fly. We want to soar to the heavens. Because yes. that is our destination. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because how many of us know this old world is not our home? Yes. This is yes. just a dressing yes. room. Yes. Because the Lord tells us in his word, in my father's house, yes. there are so many mansions. Yes. If there were not so, I would have told you. And I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, I'll come again and receive you unto myself. That 
Oh. 
brought to mind our clear. Now unto him who was able to keep us fall, from falling and present us faultless before his throne, let to glory, majesty, dominion, all glory, honor, and praise. Lord, we also want to ask your blessings upon the food that we're about to receive and the fellowship that you would go with us, Father God. We just thank you. We thank you for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.